What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Liverpool Career Mode. This is episode number 8. I'm excited to bring this episode to you as always guys. Be sure to like if you enjoyed the episode and subscribe to get the future updates as they come out. Last episode we had a couple of crummy performances against the Premier League teams, but we had a great breakout performance against the Wolves. Let's go ahead and take that energy and see if we can't press on this episode guys. Let's get into it. Alright, we are playing Sunderland today, and then in about half a week we're playing Manchester United, uh, part of the EFL Cup. So we're going to play with our starting squad today as it's a, you know, match against um, the rest of the EPL. So we're going to go ahead and go with our starting squad. I did change up uh, a little bit here. Uh, Firmino is going to be our cam slash CF position, or he's using the striker. Let's see if we can get him. Shooting straight finally. 3-0, it worked. Only Origi did not score. Firmino did, so that worked. Balotelli came in. Williams scored as well. Man, that, that was a great match right there. Three goals, all right. So we are lining up our players before the Manchester United match, and this is something I was afraid of. We have a full squad, and then our, our reserves, or substitutes, I should say, don't have full stamina. Uh, and we got no one on the bench, so I feel like we need to grab a couple of uh, younger players at least and put them on the bench for moments like this. We're a little thin, so going into the uh, transfer window here, I'd like to see uh, ideas as to who you think we should bring in for that role. Whether it be uh, another center back or a flex player for the backfield, some center mids. Uh, even looks like maybe a striker at this point. We're going to be getting rid of Balotelli pretty soon, so. That'll be a hole to fill as well. All right, Manchester United's up next in the EFL Cup. Here is our cup lineup. Let's go. All right, it's Liverpool versus Manchester United in the EFL Cup. We're playing at Anfield, boys. Let's get this. out of the EFL Cup. Let's take a look. Looks like 50-50 at the end, and we had eight shots, six on target. They had five, only five on target. So they were 100%. Um, yeah, it was uh, a struggle to get anything in the back of the goal. We only made it off the penalty kick. I think I probably could have put a better lineup together. I didn't think that they would put all of their starters on the, uh, the pitch this time, but... Um, yeah, we went down the EFL Cup. Well, that's a blow that came out of nowhere. Um, apparently, Paslak's out for four months. So, we don't have a backup right back now. Looks like we might be needing to get a, another backup here in the uh, transfer window. Alright, up next, we're playing Bournemouth. They are currently sitting ninth. Let's go ahead and do a sim on this one. Got Coutinho, Origi, Mane up top. Let's see how we do. I have Sturridge and Lalana and Alexander Arnold to be first off the bench. Looks like Sturridge came in and scored. Awesome. Alright, I guess keeping him happy is kind of paying off here. 
All right, next up we're playing West Ham. Let's take a quick look at the table. What, what? We are number one right now by one point over Chelsea. And let's see, West Ham's 14th. So they're at the middle of the table. The lineup, we got uh, a little bit different lineup today. It's uh, a little bit different to me. So it's a 4-2-3-1. I am recording, yes. So we've got Regi up top, we've got Coutinho and Lana as kind of a, a cam, and then Wildan, I can never say his name right, Gerard and Milner all are kind of like a center mid position, cam position, Gerard obviously isn't, but um, and then Williams, Lover and Maltip and Klein in the back, carry us in goal. I've got these guys on counter attacks. So let's see how this lineup works this time. Premier League. Liverpool versus West Ham. We are live from Anfield. So we had possession 57%. We had nine shots, only four were on target. Downside there, they only had three uh, with two on target. We did really well, I thought. Um, this this uh, uh, formation actually worked quite well. Uh, we kept control of the ball, I felt, in the middle of the field, and uh, we could get a lot of interceptions too. Um, Surge 5.5. He came on late. I guess he didn't get much of an opportunity there. Um, yeah, all around great match. Uh, we're pressing on. So this next match, I'm going to throw a pass like out. He is injured and put Alexander Arnold in. I did not realize that he actually can play right back. I should have known that from his time playing here in the cup matches we've had recently. So we got the uh, typical backup squad in. And we are playing Middlesbrough. I hope I'm saying that one right. And they are fifth in the league. Ouch. I'm going to go ahead and send this one anyway and see how we do. Oh, apparently we have a uh, player issue. Small on the bench. Oh, duh. Maybe we'll switch him out. Okay, I'm not trying to get no more chance to stay on the bench. Yeah, so we'll do that. And let's see how we do. Two to Inacio and Chan actually scored. Interesting. Gomez and Henderson came off for Oxford and Chan. All right. So we have an offer to manage the England uh, English national team. I don't know what to do. I'd like to have your opinion of that. I don't usually like playing extra matches. I actually enjoy doing the trades, transfers, and that sort of thing more so. But uh, I want your opinion. What do you think? Should we go ahead and sign away on that? We can actually send those if we had to anyway. So let me know your thoughts. 
Did I get a message saying that we're in risk of losing two players? Miniger is one of them. I'm going against my better judgment here and giving him what he wants, seeing if we could possibly sell him off. That's the question. It's not really worth a whole lot. Someone's going to want an older goalkeeper um, via championship or league uh, one team. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go with my gut and say we sign him back up for one year and see what happens there. Uh, the other player was Balotelli. He's got seven months left on his contract. We'll go the two years he wants and 120 on the wages. Give him the important first team he's asking for and see what happens there. Alright guys, that's going to conclude today's episode. I appreciate you watching if you enjoyed this episode or if you didn't. Either way, leave a thumbs up like. It gets me motivated for every episode that I create and keeps me pushing forward to the next one. So guys, if you haven't subscribed, do so now and I'll see you guys next time. What you gonna do?